So, Brother James, this is Brother James Blue, uh, one of my one of my dear friends, uh, who and Covenant Brothers, who um, actually leads um, Cincinnati Bible Way, um, and it's a very powerful church, very powerful man of God, op operates heavily in the prophetic and uh, and the apostolic, um, and I, I'm so thankful that you're willing to be part of our Kingdom Builders Summit and uh, to really bring a thrust around the uh, prophetic and the kingdom of God and this present move of God. So I'm, I'm very thankful to have you here. I'm Brother Jerry Coleman. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Charleston New Beginning Church. So um, I invited you to come to the summit and to be one of our keynote speakers. Uh, Brother James, could you tell me why you think uh, this summit's important? Well, I think it's very important because uh, as we talk about the body of Christ and uh, Ephesians talks about the fivefold ministry, which is what we're focusing upon, to equip the saints. And we need prophets inside of the church intentionally to equip the saints. And many times we have people in our congregation who have streams of it or they might have it, they think they may have it, and they become upset or they become depressed because nobody's able to give them a track to raise them up to see, am I really that? Or you all don't, you all don't believe me or some things like that to also help to to curve them so that they can be great equippers uh, so they can have an, a, a personality that people want to learn and that and causes causes people to rise up. But you need that in the fivefold. You need that prophet. You need that person that helps them see but not just what's bad, but what's right. What can we turn? How can we how can we solve this issue? How can I raise your faith? How can I stir you along with the other four to work together as a working unit? You know, a, a community and not just an individual. A lot of times, the prophetic, which we've seen, has been an individual who does, maybe has a call from God. Uh, he knows God's called him. His grandmother told him God called him. What the case case might be. Yeah. But he has no support system as to how to walk it out. He has nobody. To, he's accountable to. He doesn't have anybody like that because he's intimidated. He needs somebody that loves him, comes alongside, said, but this is a better way. Uh, Paul says a more excellent way. Let's do it in love, but let's do it right. Well, that's the reason why we're having the summit, uh, because uh, we're having all five. We have the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the shepherd, and teacher. We're having tracks for each one of them. And in those tracks, you'll actually get six hours of training over Amen. a two-day period. And um, and I was thinking about what God wanted to do with this summit. And uh, to my knowledge, this is the only summit that I've heard of, especially in this region, where all five of the leadership gifts in Ephesians 4 are actually being uh, being taught, giving people Amen. an opportunity to be trained. What do you think well, about Well, see, that? You, you made space for all of them. It's yeah. either the prophet, uh, the apostle, or it's one group, or the just events. You made space for all of them because God had made space. He's got a grace for all of them Amen. to work together. So we're going to see how it works together, too, in the tracks. And I think it's going to raise the bar, raise the confidence in the people of God, those that's been waiting on God or saying, God, what should I do? Or what's my primary gifting? I feel like I'm called to do that. And not get frustrated, but get, you know, directed so they can do that. And so the idea of even having a summit in our city, and you need to come if you, you think you need to come and, and be able to look at the track and say, am I called to do this? Uh, have my questions answered, have my challenges uh, challenged and answered by somebody who's been walking in it, didn't just start yesterday, but been walking it for a number of years themselves yes. and love people. Amen. You know, and care about people and seeing people raised up. Amen. I thank you for that because, I mean, I believe that that's the move of God. I think that's the will of God um, because... The whole purpose of the summit is to Amen. equip those Amen. who are supposed to equip the believer. Amen. Uh, but it's equip the believer to fulfill their kingdom assignment. Amen. I believe that this is also to help advance the kingdom of God because when every believer uh, is functioning out of the call of God on their life, uh, when the equippers in Amen. Ephesians 4 are training them and preparing them and equipping them to fulfill their kingdom assignment. I think we're going to see a, a great groundswell in our Amen. city where people in our local fellowships are going to be equipped Amen. by those who are to equip them. Amen. And the summit is based on, on pulling together all of those and helping identify if they don't know what Amen. their gift is, but to help them identify what their ministry gift is and then to give them some training in it. I believe it's God's strategic plan for now. 
I believe that because it's going to raise the army. We're going to see a different kind of army. We're not going to see infighting like we've seen a lot of times. We're not going to see. We're going to see them working together to get the job done, to get the assignment finished, and uh, like you said, I bring to to the attention those that are listening. So I know what I'm supposed to be doing, so I know my assignment, or have at least an understanding what I'm not supposed mm-hmm. to do, which is just as important as what I should be doing. I mean, and I, 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 our heart is to in this fellowship in my life. My DNA is to is to equip the believer. And I really felt like God wanted us to do this this summit. It's going to be May, the the in the month of May. It's going to be the the ninth through the eleventh. It's going to be a Thursday night, all day Friday, Friday night, all day Saturday, and Saturday night. And it's going to be great training. Uh, we're going to close that Saturday night with a miracle service. Amen. And 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 the registration is is really minimal. It's only fifty nine dollars oh, to register. Goodness. Anybody can go out to www.tsnbchurch. Dot com. Click on the uh, the events button, and they'll see the event for the APES um, or Kingdom Builders Amen. Summit. They'll see the, a tab for the summit. They click on that, and they can register. Amen. And if a person doesn't isn't sure what the call on their life is, there's a link for them to do an assessment to help them identify. You thought that. everything. <laughs> you thought everything. But but I, I, let, let me just same. let me just let me just endorse Brother Jerry because I think you need to know his heart. You need to know what, what his desire, it didn't just start yesterday, it's been there forever, to equip saints, to raise up the people of God, to do a kingdom work, to walk it out. And you don't want to miss this. In our city, it, it's strategic. You don't want to miss it. Get your friends, bring your pastor friends, your people that are called to be prophets or apostles or evangelists or whatever they feel they're called to be, or Amen. people in your church where you're saying, we need to get them active, we need to get them moving. This is the place to bring them to. This is the time to bring them. Their life is going to change forever. They're not going to be the same. We know it's going to be an amazing time. I'm excited about it because Amen. of what we sense that God wants to do and is going to do, and I'm great. I'm glad to be a part of that myself. Amen. Amen. One thing you said that really helped uh, me to solidify this move, you made a statement uh, earlier when we were talking that um, you were sharing with your people, I may not be able to have the time to to, to teach you these tracks Amen. That, that you believe God has called you to you go to something like this and you can get that Amen. training. Amen. That's right. And I, I did. I shared it with our, our congregation, our leaders, because I said, I don't have time to walk you through, but I want to get you on a track so you can see what it is God wants to do with you or what God doesn't want to do with you. And I know this is great food for that. You need to come eat with us. Amen. We're going to be served up some tremendous meals. And for those who may not know, when we say tracks, uh, each one of the each one of the uh, Ephesians 4 leadership ministries, the Apostle, Prophet, Evangelist, Shepherd, and Teacher, all of them have classes they're going to teach that we're calling a track and it's going to be six classes they're going to teach three on one day three on the next Amen. day that would that would just help people get a good firm foundation and each one of the uh, five four will have a track Amen. so we, we just want to help equip the people of God uh, we want to invite everybody to come Amen. please you know tell your congregations but we really believe this is a groundswell from God and you do not want to miss it in this city Amen. and it's going to be a safe place to learn Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. Thank you for coming. You. Thank you for being my friend, and thank you for being part of the Kingdom Builders. It's my pleasure. God, God bless, bless you. you. You know, I love you. I love you, man. Appreciate you. All right.